What's good guys, Polly Popo here, and I'm glad to be on the channel with you guys. So check this out, what we're going to do today is mess around with a mixer on the uh, MPC software. Um, I've been getting into mixing a lot, I've had a lot of unfinished songs and I'm trying to finish them up. And um, you know, right over here in the inserts, long story short, you know, you can only put four inserts in here and I was running into this problem and down here this mixer we're gonna use this one um you know you can put inserts on your master um but you don't want to have your you don't you shouldn't have all these full you know what i mean you should have like a pair of eq and maybe a compressor um maybe a channel strip but most daws give you at least eight different uh, inserts here. So what I'm saying is you kind of get, you feel limited, but this might seem uh, like common sense to a lot of people, but this is totally something new to me and I thought I would share with you guys is the whole submixing. Um, and I have to show you on the software because I, I still don't fully understand. I think it's the sends in the MPC mixer. But what I'm going to do is like right here, I uh, went ahead and we can hear that. And it's coming in right here. So for my stereo output, I got one and two. I can go mono output. But then I look right here at the submix, and I've never really messed with it, nor have I tried to uh, select different outputs unless I was going into my mixer mono with the MPC-X. But check this out. If you go to submix 1, let's say you got your snare, your hi-hats. This is for, like, all your drums. I guess it's like a bus. I don't know. Um, but whenever you have all your effects tied in and it's mixed up you can send your kick snare and everything uh hi-hats all the sub one and check this what's really cool i'll put a pair of eq four band put that we'll go here to dynamics put a channel strip I love the way these plugins look they've really done a really nice little clean up there what I'm getting at is I'm gonna fill these up let's put an SP 1200 have you guys seen that new uh, Roland uh, MK2 or whatever that thing is? It looks like a fun. It looks like some real cool stuff. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and put a delay. Just because. Put a quarter delay. So now look, I'm all out of this stuff. I don't even know what this stuff... I guess it's a mixer for... I don't know, maybe you guys can help me out on that. I don't know what these are for. But, um... So instead of outputs one, I got this going into here. I could have this track going into here, into my sub mixes. Then uh, it just blows my mind, I've never... I still don't know what these returns do, but I know I got this going out one and two, and I'm out of effects right here. So now I can go right over here if I needed to, and if I wanted to put a compressor, you know, I got all my drums, say this is a kick and a, and a, a kick here and a snare here, and they were both going to sub one they'd both be coming out of this channel like a, like as a group and I could add different effects to it and keep adding more 
if you need to. And I'm just saying it's really, really cool because now I got eight slots for inserts. And if I want to, I can just compress everything in the master. I got four more. So you actually have plenty of room. Um, let me show you kind of more of what I'm talking about here real quick. Let's use Fruity Loops as a, an example here, okay? If you look at Fruity Loops Mixer, you got all these channels and right here are your inserts. One, two, you got 10. So again, if you use this right, I just showed you that on the MPC Mixer, you have four, eight, 12. So it's really, really cool. And it's something that I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, like I said, this is not about the sound or what I'm doing. I'm just showing you the empty slots. And uh, yeah, I still have to figure out what these returns are, but that's not what this video is about. The, the, this video is about, Ooh. look at that. I can even put more effects. I can put 16 effects on it. And it's really, really cool, but the, I'm gonna really give it to Akai. Let me compare this real quick. You get all of these, and they all look really, really cool. You know, they all do something very, 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 very awesome. Look at all these effects that you can put. So yeah, you can fill up those really, really fast, but you have four, eight, and you got 16 different. See, and I, what kills me is that I can't use my, my pair EQ, this thing right here. This is all I want. I wanna be able to see my audio coming in through here and I can't. It won't yet let me use this as a plugin. But again, I, that's not what this video is about. I just thought I would share this with you guys because I thought it was like a limited thing where I only had four different different tracks, but or four different inserts. But that's not the case. We have let's put a doubler. <laughs> right on guys I'm Polly Popo and I hope this helped you out it's about having fun and a lot of the time whenever you're listening to a sound on your uh, MPC or whatever it is it's the sound that inspires you to do something else so use those effects and know that you have 16 slots and you're not limited to just four right on I'm probably done here and I appreciate you guys very much for watching I'll talk to you later